Well, it looks like Terrence Howard is for real bowing out this time. If y'all are unaware, Terrence Howard has announced that he is about to retire from Hollywood, at least on the acting side. Anyway, I don't know if he's going to do any behind the scenes work or anything like that. But he says he is officially leaving, you know, stepping from being in front of the camera after this uh, best man series, which is coming on Peacock in a couple of weeks. Then this is probably going to be his last acting gigs. And he's about to he's about to give his reasons as to why. But there's also another reasoning that was put out there. I don't know how true it is, but with some stuff that I've talked about with Terrence Howard in the past, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case either. But I'll go ahead and get into it. Saying he has given the very best Academy Award nominated actor, Terrence Howard announced plans this week to retire. I've gotten to the point where now I've given the very best that I have as an actor. He told Entertainment Weekly's Kevin Frazier Thursday, December 8th, during a red carpet appearance for the Peacock series, The Best Man, The Final Chapters at the Hollywood Athletic Club in Los Angeles. Howard, age 53, has made the pronouncement before, but says he is serious this time, noting that he is ready to pass the torch to a new generation. I retired two years ago for the most part. He told the entertainment news outlet, I was done. I asked Sidney Poitier 10 years ago, does he want to do any more work? And he said, why would I spend my last 10 years doing an impersonation of myself? And that's what I've gotten to. Howard was nominated for Best Actor in 2006 for his role in Hustle and Flow. He made his big screen debut in 1992 as Jackie R Jackson in The Jackson's an American Dream. He went on to land appearances on the soap opera All My Children and in other films including Mr. Holland's Opus, Dead Presidents, Who's the Man, and Four Brothers. Recently, he won praise for his role as Lucius Lyon on Empire, which ended after six seasons in 2020, the report notes. The Best Man Final Chapters premieres on Peacock December 22nd. Now, before I get into my other part that I think another reason he's leaving, let me talk about that discussion that he had with Sidney Poitier, which I thought was very, very interesting. He said that he asked Sidney Poitier 10 years ago. So we're saying roughly around 2012. Does he want to do any more work? And then Sidney said to him, why would I spend the, my last 10 years doing an impersonation of myself? <laughs> Basically, Terrence Howard doesn't want to do roles where he is playing another character, but it's a shell of Terrence Howard. It's like Terrence Howard playing another character while still being Terrence Howard. He's not playing another character or like play, playing something that's not outside of himself. He's just playing himself while pretending to be someone else. And there's really no room for growth there. And I guess he probably feels that those were the roles that were starting to be sent to him more frequently over time. So you got to think this man probably has been getting so many scripts. But they were saying we're looking for a Terrence Howard type. If you're looking for a Terrence Howard type, why not give it to an actor who reminds you of Terrence Howard? Why would you send it to Terrence Howard? Because now you're that's just basically shitting on this man's talents to have him play himself. And it's basically saying, excuse me, it's basically telling him that all we can see you as is yourself. We don't see you as this in that person and it's almost an insult because now they're trying to say that you have been acting for so long and we still don't see any range from you so when you take all of that and throw that into a and throw that into the wind you can see why he's saying he's going to retire because who wants to play a shell of themselves that's boring the point of acting is to show range and to play different characters in different ways that's the whole point now another thing that i was reading too when i was looking up some you know looking up for something to read towards this is that people or it was thrown out there that again going back to the whole iron man situation remember i did a video about that i think in november where it was saying how Terrence Howard had took a pay cut in order for them to pay uh, Robert Downey Jr. top billing 
so he could portray Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, in what would become the MCU, because it wasn't the MCU at the time. It was still very much Marvel, you know, uh, that was at the beginning stages of it. But it came back up again about the whole Iron Man situation. And I think that that situation burned him in a way. That right there, to for him to continue going forward in the MCU as Rhodey, a.k.a. War Machine, would have done wonders for his career. It would have did wonders for his career. Like, he would have blown up in a major way. Think about it. Like, he ended up having to re- reduce himself down to doing television, which was Empire, which they mentioned in the article. He had to do Empire for some people to even remember who he was. The same thing happened with Taraji B. Henson. Taraji B. Henson was very well known. Or I say was as if she's no longer here. Taraji B. Henson is very well known in the black community, has been ever since she started acting. When she was in Baby Boy, every black person knew who she was. But when she did Empire, which was over, over, shoot, almost 20 years later, that's when she went mainstream. Now you got to think about it. You've been acting for so long, both of them. They both were nominated for Oscars. Because if you don't remember, Taraji B. Henson was nominated for The Curious Case of Benjamin Button with a Best Supporting Actress nomination. She was nominated for, of course, she didn't win. But even then, with her doing a movie like that with Brad Pitt, she still wasn't that recognized. But it wasn't until she did Empire that people knew who she was. And even then, people were still calling her by her character name. Except for us, because we knew who she was. So, yeah, when you take all of that and, you know, like like I said, just kind of ball it all up. I can see why he's leaving. He's, he's, he's leaving before Hollywood gets a chance to kick him out, so to speak. It's almost like a job. When you work a job for so many years, you know, new blood, you, know, you start to see old faces leave. Maybe because they're going to other jobs or maybe they're, as time goes forward, they, maybe they're retiring and new faces or new blood is coming in and you're phasing out. It's always a cycle. And a lot of times they'll ask you to train a new person or new people. And, and a lot of times that means that we're training them to re, we want you to train them. So they're going to be prepared to replace you. So what do you do? You just bow out. And resign and, you know, retire and, you know, go on with the rest of your life and enjoy your retirement. That's what he's doing right here. He feels that because I read somewhere else that Hollywood is about to phase him out anyway. So let me just cut my losses and walk myself out before they get a chance to hit me on the butt with the doorknob. So if this is truly, you know, Terrence Howard's final curtain call then, you know, kudos to him. He had a very lengthy, you know, career starting back in the early 90s and and going throughout the 90s and the early 2000s and even, you know, the 2010s and the early 2020s with this series that he has coming up on Peacock. So, you know, it is what it is. 